Welcome to EdgeProp Singapore's very first VR360 tour. Today, I'm happy to bring you around our Merlion Park and along the Singapore River. Here, you see the Merlion Park, which was first designed in 1964 as an emblem of Singapore. On September 15, 1972, the park officially opened at an installation ceremony for the statue. The Merlion is a well-known icon of Singapore conceived as a mythical creature with a lion's head and a fish's body. The fish alludes to Singapore's beginnings as a fishing village, while the lion refers to the sighting of a lion in Tamasek by Sang Nila Utama, leading him to rename the island Singapura. The merlion thus depicts both Singapore's origin story and its fantastical transformations. Over the years, Singaporeans have affectionately adopted it as our mascot and national icon. Did you know the Merlion statue was struck by lightning on its head on February 28, 2009? Some feng shui masters believe it has a positive implication, signifying a wake-up call to all Singaporeans and interpreted it as the ignition of wealth and luck for Singapore. We are now at the start of the Jubilee Bridge, launched as part of an 8km commemorative walkway called Jubilee Walk in celebration of Singapore's 50th birthday in 2015. The bridge was opened a month earlier than planned to facilitate pedestrian movement during the state funeral procession of Singapore's late founding father, Lee Kuan Yew. In fact, it was his intent to give pedestrians a barrier-free access between the Merlion Park and Esplanade. We are now on the Esplanade Bridge, which was completed in the year 1997 to accommodate for increasing vehicular traffic flow. There were concerns that this might cause the Merlion not being seen from the Marina Bay waterfront, which resulted in its relocation to the other side of the Esplanade Bridge on April 23, 2002. You are now in the middle of the Cavanaugh Bridge, the oldest surviving suspension bridge across the Singapore River. Such structural design is currently only found in two bridges worldwide, Cavanaugh Bridge built in 1869 and the Albert Bridge in London, built in 1873 and based on the one you're looking at right now. Imagine this, before the Cavanaugh Bridge was constructed, people had to take ferries across the river site and a temporary footbridge with a toll of a quarter cent. What a busy sight it must have been! Let's take a walk down the Singapore River. Across the river from the Fullerton Hotel, we find ourselves seated amongst the businessmen of the past. These three statues are a part of the People of the River Sculpture Series. This one's called From Shetiars to Financiers, and it represents the various financial institutions around the Singapore River. Early financial services were usually organized along ethnic lines. For instance, the money lending services were primarily run by the Shetiars from South India. Their offices usually comprised of a low desk on a woven mat, as depicted in this sculpture. Chinese clerks typically ran the clearing houses and were easily identified by their pigtails. In contrast, the trader in a distinctive jacket symbolizes Singapore's economic growth and sophisticated financial services. Another set from the same series, this is titled A Great Emporium. In the early 19th century, the Singapore River was a heart of trade and activity. This work exemplifies the trade activities that took place along the river at the time. European traders, like those here, profited from Singapore's trade, but it was the Chinese traders, like the Taoke holding and Abacus, who generated the most wealth. Providing much-needed labour to the trading industry were Chinese and Indian coolies, who usually came from the southeastern provinces of China and South India, respectively. 
as we walk to our last stop. Also part of the People of the River statue series is this whimsical sculpture titled First Generation. The five boys jumping into Singapore River shows the lighter side of everyday life around the river in the past. The river played a pivotal role in the history and development of Singapore. Children living by the riverbanks used to enjoy swimming in the river despite the pollution. This practice fortunately ceased with the completion of the Clean Rivers Project in 1983, where families, hawkers and bumboats were moved out of the area.